What's up guys? We're out here at Lake Oconee for the third stop of the Bulldog BFLs. Uh, practice was a little weird. We got on a sort of decent crank and bite. Uh, didn't catch too many, but the ones we caught were good. So we're going to go and chuck and wine with a crankbait today and see if we can get five good ones and bring them to the scales. Thank you all for watching, and you all stay tuned. We're gonna start by going down this way. Okay. I just kind of came in hot. Then we're gonna go down, we're gonna hit that corner dock, and we're gonna come back up here and fish it slowly. Yeah. I believe he's going to make a cut. Yeah. Well, guys, it's number one. Broken my rail. Nice. Yeah, I just can't see it. Thank you. How does that even happen? It's just a straight bees on get hung up. How does that even happen? I still got my crankbait, but then that happens. I don't even understand how you could have a straight piece of line and get tangled up like that. What in the... I don't think he's a keeper. Nope. Don't believe so.
That's a net. I need a net. I got it. I got it. I got it. I believe that one will go 14. I hope he does because he's fat. All right, spot two, guys. We got two fish off the first spot. Two keepers. Uh, I caught two shorts. Yeah, two shorts there, and then I lost one that I feel like was decent, but I won't know. So it's a spot two. It's 8:30. Gotta get at least three more, and hopefully the next three will be big. Yeah, I think he'll go 12. I think he'll go 14. I hope. Thank you. You can just leave it out on the front deck. Hope he does. Barely touches, but he does. I got it. Unless it's a real, real big one, I, I'll net on myself. I, I've been used to the opens yeah. where you, you have to grab them. Mm -hmm. So. This dang bank right here got him. know if he's gonna measure.
Oh my gosh. I got him. <laughs> That's why he felt so big. He was on the other side of the dock. Yeah. Over in that grass. Yep. Spinner bait. He don't even keep, and I bet you he weighs more than half of them in there. Look at his dirt back. Dang it. Thought I was about to call one. 
All right, guys, we're back at weigh-in. We only got those five little ones, but at least we got five. Get some water. Divider broke out, that's what happened. Oh, really? Yeah. One of mine came off. Powder Springs, Georgia. Mike sounds great. We got a five ass limit. Well done. You got five that's going to go eight pounds and three ounces. Is that a boy? Hey, you're leading this one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've three of them so far. Tim Prozen, the Morris, the Morris, the So, guys, that is a wrap. And if anyone saw on my Instagram or Facebook, I've never caught a lemon at Oconee. So, I got that checked off. For the crank and bite, as I said in the intro, I was on a good crank and bite. Y'all saw I lost my crank baits. Because uh, my line was breaking in my reels, I really don't know what happened. I practiced with that reel all day on Friday, and that never happened. I caught I saw a five pounder, three pounder, a couple two pounders with it, and that never happened. But this old red bug trick worm saved the day for me and uh as y'all know i love to throw a shaky head i threw it a lot last year in the opens uh, i threw it at west point i threw it i throw that thing everywhere it's always it'll always catch a fish when you need it to and it did for me it saved me for the uh points race for the regionals cut which is the goal uh but besides that uh, thank you all for watching, and I may have a little local tournament video coming out soon. I don't know yet. Uh, still trying to work out some details of who I'm fishing it with and everything, but that should be fun. And me and my dad are going to fish a tournament at Lake Weiss. That lake is about sketchier than I'll get out. So that should be a good video. Uh, that lake is either boom or bust or blow your prop off the bottom of your boat or go home type of lake so y'all stay tuned and thank y'all for watching